chest. Uh, sound level. Best sound level. Computer, read me the message coming from Batgas. Batgas70 says, open a channel to Hypertext Hero. This is Admiral Bats of the Federation Starship USS Picard hailing. Any universal greetings in all known languages and in all known channels. Batgas70, this is Hypertext Hero. I copy your message and uh, i thank you and i would like to wish you a happy friday sir and uh, i extend and return uh, the same wishes of uh, universal greetings in all known languages and on all known chances to you i hope that you're had a good week that your weekend will be even better I'll try some uh, different types of uh, music today a little bit more meditative Will be a variety, but uh, let's see how that goes. I am here in uh, Echo Gulf, Quebec, Sierra, Lossy Mouth Air Base in Lossy Mouth, the north of Scotland. Here we have our our nice uh, cross between a uh, between a uh, seagull and a space shuttle type airplane, the BN2 Islander. And I'm very happy to have this plane again. Really pretty airplane. And we're going to be doing some missions here in the morning. Nice background music. A little chill us out. The atmosphere in the ship. Calm and cool. Indeed, sir. Very happy Friday. The traditional day of fish for lunch. Indeed. In Italy as well. Uh, maybe something that goes back a long time. I would love some fish, right? You know, I had a really good fish and chips here in New York City. The best one I've had outside of England, I think. Maybe in Rome I had one. I've never had a fish and chip as good as in, uh, as in the southern coast of the UK, I must admit. Cod just doesn't taste the same in other places, but I did have a very good one here, and uh, it was... Uh, uh, they only serve it on Fridays and Saturdays, or Saturdays and Sundays, uh, near, in the West Village. And uh, not cheap, it's like $20, but it's worth it. And it comes with like some thick cut French fries. You can get some, some, uh, some vinegar on it. It doesn't come wrapped in a newspaper, but. <laughs> on behalf of Her Majesty, I send her best wishes and kindest regards. It's very kind of you. Please uh, return those. I, I'm a big fan of Her Majesty the Queen. Especially after watching this uh, Crown series, it's very good. Very good. I am very impressed with it. And um, and uh, I think she's a really good person, very kind-hearted woman who brought a lot of good to the world. So, <laughs> on one, not one. No worries. Uh, hey, computers and, and typing. You know, I'm just happy I'm not typing on a touch screen on a real keyboard here but uh, it's an imperfect uh, mode of communication we just have to read through the imperfections we're gonna begin here in lossy mouth it's uh, our royal air force air base i have, i didn't know that i just happened to be to have landed uh my, my last mission at it and uh, she's indeed a very hard-working lady, guys, of Britain and the Commonwealth. And the entire world, I say, you know, she did so much for, you know, get people to get along instead of fight. I think, uh, yeah, it, it's going to be a great loss. He goes after Philip went recently. Um, and I hope that we can have a, you know, head of 
um, head of state, not really even a head of state, but a, a leader in the world like, like the queen has been and still is again soon. Not sure about these voices. Now let's switch to uh, Mr. Road here. Having a selection of uh, chill tunes for us today. We can listen to it a little bit longer. I'm uh, controlling several different things in this computer here, so sometimes it takes me a little while. I think Sim Toolkit Pro is connected uh, successfully. Let's start with... Uh, I've overhauled the, the hole. I did have to repair the hole after that last landing at negative almost 400 feet per minute. Uh, let's start with uh, what have we got around here today near Lossy Mouth. Maybe land nearby here. Or this uh, search zone for a rescue mission. Or maybe drop off. A, let's drop off a medic over here. Emergency. That sounds good. A right click and fly. When that sad day comes and Her Majesty leaves us, then the Prince of Wales ascends and becomes King Charles. Yep. I'm afraid he's not going to be as popular as the Queen or as effective, but, you know, he doesn't have long to go either. And then after him, it's going to be one of the... One of William's kids, or no, not Harry's, it's William's kids, right? All right, let's see. Okay, we need a 360, current pillow 2080. All right, let's go and fix that. Hey, good morning, Shipa. The queen will not allow that to ever happen, or even if she has to become 200. <laughs> I wish she would, you know. I think uh, yeah, queen is awesome. I'm a huge fan of, of uh, Queen, Eliz queen Elizabeth. Um, where are we? 360 we need? Okay. 140, uh, I just put like a payload like this. Oh, then it just gives it. Okay, let's just do it like that. That's fine. That's going to get complicated. How are you, Shipa? 60 I think so we'll put 20 more pounds if they're they're carrying his like medical valise on the, the side. So that's 360 we got 360 we are ready to go here in lossy mouth let's click fly let's switch mayday, mayday, mayday. this a plane has just crashed bring oh, the doctor dear. to the crash site Prince William after Charles good I hope that uh yeah I mean, I think it'll be a very hard to have someone as as empathetic as as Elizabeth. You know, she's not perfect, like no one is, no human being is perfect, but given the toll order that she had, you know, like basically give up your personal life almost to do that job, even if you have a lot of amenities, a lot of money, a tough job. I'm trying to make everyone happy. All right. I started on the ramp because I do want to uh, switch to... Uh, learn to, to learn how to fly this plane again after I had crashed at that time. I remember to add insurance to it now. So that we can... Uh, where the hell are my bookmarks? Goodness sake, why does this... Screen from... Excuse me. Here, there we go. Which you're about to a little bit more travel like. Trying to bring some nice soundscapes to you all. Her match is now by far Brin Sloan's ring in Morgan Monarch. Good. Good. Good to have a woman in charge. Well, a good woman in charge. We got Starbrush 86 B6 B3 out here with us. 
We have a medic on board here. We don't have our motor on, so that's why we have this little... Uh... Okay, let me do this. Uh, display capture, I think I want. Yep. That's why like this little thing is red, because we don't have the engine on yet. We're just going to take off. We're going to take a bearing of, uh, I say, around 120. We'll drop off a medic nearby here. Which is, at the same time, a re-familiarization -fami mission for me of this airplane. And uh, let's uh, activate track. Uh, let's, uh, let me d disable the preview here. Give us some more frames per second. Or Microsoft Simulator it wants as many frames per second as we can give it this game. Bus says doing good. Joystick got delayed, so I cancel. Well, that's annoying. Maybe get the my. Maybe just get a T flight hottest, whatever it can get their soonest. But I recommend a VKB Gladiator. It's a little. It took a little while to come, just over a week. But that was because I ordered it. Uh, they they comes from China, so I ordered it. Um, I ordered it. Uh, on, during like a Chinese holiday, so it took longer to come than it should have, but uh Right, let's uh, put the fuel here. The fuel is uh four, that should be fine. And I think uh the valves are fine. Let's turn on the avionics here. Where's the battery switches? I need a little while to remember. Here we go, battery. Like that should have been first. Avionics should have been second. We don't have sound for these things yet. Hopefully soon. Okay. Fine. Um, port generator and starboard generator. Internal power. Uh, I don't think we need that. Uh, ammeter source. Okay. They can check the amateur over to the where the heck is the amateur there up here okay what happens if i put the external supply to actually simulate that okay. how about if i search a starboard generator ah there you go then it's like then it goes to the green it was at zero then it goes so that we do have uh, power there or generator yep we got power there interesting the battery it goes to zero don't really understand that but um okay we'll just leave it in the middle Try to turn it on and off of the battery and see if that may be very isolations. Okay. Maybe do a lineage investigation and find one hypertext hero is actually next in line to the throne. Get my phone to support. That's very kind of you. A uh, bats, uh, but I don't it's it's like you know the, the amazing thing about this series is that it, it it's really it, it taught me a, the history. I know that they, they say it's not all accurate, but but I, I'd be surprised if it's not fairly accurate. And uh, it really taught me about the whole, the whole uh, history of, of this family, you know, and how the previous Kling, uh, he abdicated the throne. And uh, let's keep the instruments light turned on here. All right, uh, taxi lights will Put them on. Got pulse. Get the strobes off. All right. Um, okay. I think we're pretty good to go here. A little confused about some things. Mixture at 100. Propeller RPM. Let's put it. Uh, let's leave it at zero now. Let's turn on this engine. The crown is a TV show for Intimus. Very dramatically. It's very loosely based on facts. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I haven't read the history, but uh, but I like it a lot, you know. And sometimes they and often they say that fiction will actually give you a better, a more accurate, um, in the end, a more accurate description of of real life uh, than uh, 
than pure you know encyclopedia knowledge that's why literature is so amazing okay parking brake is on carburetor heat is off uh all right where is the where where i think it's up here to switch right all right here we go I'm stable the morning pilot bring me as close as possible to the crash all right transporter medic on board go 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 all right we'll soon be moving and then i'll be able to chat a little bit more a little confusing for me to chat and do this this startup uh, on a plane that i'm not used to flying anymore Uh, okay, that's looking good. Close that. Uh, fuel pumps on for takeoff and landing. And uh, I'm confused about that ampere thing, but I think that's fine. It's old. We're we're not not gonna need heat here. We have the doors. They're closed. Yeah, I just I have a feeling I'm forgetting something, but uh, we'll find out when I crash if I crash. So. All right, let's uh, request the taxi for takeoff. Have you watched the Crown, Bats? If you haven't, I really recommend it. An amazing show. Taxiing two and holding short of runway zero five using, using taxiway delta and I'll contact tower on one one eight dot nine or when I'm ready hypertext zero one. Taxiing hold short runway zero five via taxiway delta hypertext zero one. <laughs> when I crash. <laughs> All right, ground services. Uh, oh, we can request pushback. Oh, that's nice. Do I need to request pushback? Let's take a look from the outside view. Uh, I think we could get. Let, let's try it. Lossy amount ground. Hypertext hero one requesting pushback. Hypertext hero one pushback request accepted. Just push back and steer to the left. I think. Let's come from this side and. See. I don't have, I try to have faith in myself, Bat, but, uh, you know, after, a, after that, my last landing with this airplane, uh, it has left something to be desired. Okay, let's steer to the, what, to the right. There you go, that's nice. Thank you, uh, who is this? That kind of looks like a Riker who sort of like uh, shaved his beard. Yeah, this, is, this is looking good here. Take a look. Okay. This is so awesome. I have never done this before, and I've played this game for like a hundred hours now, I think. All right, go back to clearance. There he goes with his little pushback vehicle. The wheels are not spinning. Oh, broken, can't play. <laughs> oh, gotta get those wheels spinning at Sobo Studios. All right. Uh, what, what was the taxiway? I have to go to a uh, hold short of runway 05 using taxiway D. I'm trying to do this properly today. Fly Hypertext Airlines when arriving is never guaranteed. <laughs> no, that's why only these like criminals and other people kind of contact me. Like uh, I, I did the two flights already that I had to, to drop off someone with authorities parking. Well, I hadn't released the parking brake, so maybe 
it wrecked my my see i'm already like messing up here hopefully they didn't wreck my uh my wheels by pushing my my airplane with my my brakes on did i leave some marks in the ground no okay okay let's see if we can see some some uh I don't know, this is just a default airfield, I think, so it's not going to have a lot of detail, but I don't know where runway 05A. There's taxiway E. Okay, let's see if we can see in the distance here, where is D? Uh, we're going to have to go to the outside view. Fly around a little bit. This is taxiway E. Oh, here you go. E? E, maybe it's probably this one. This is zero 05. Don't see any signs over here. Oh, here you go. Here you go, D. That's the one. All right. I don't have a, a map of the airport. If I was doing this really properly, I, I think I would have a little map of the airport so I'd know, okay, taxiway D is that way, you know. All right, let's increase power. Are you gonna order another joystick, Shippo, or you think uh, you're gonna hold off a bit? Because I hear that, yeah, it's, I, they're they're kind of annoying to get joysticks these days. They cost a lot of money and um, taxing pretty fast here. And um, and this is the delays of the shipping, you know. But. Uh, I warmly recommend her VKB Gladiator next. It took, a, it took about a week from ordering to get... It took more than a week because I ordered during the Chinese holiday. And... Um, I'm going to turn off that focus, I think. And... Uh, but it's really lovely. It's it's 120 bucks. You can get the, 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 the slightly fancier one that they send you a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of... Uh, extra springs and stuff and i think there's other things about it too i don't know what they are but it's 150 instead of 120. probably gonna go for a cheap one at some point if we can find anything good that i i really recommend uh i, I like a lot the uh t flight hottest x for elite is excellent especially it doesn't have all the buttons as the other one but it comes with both a joystick and a throttle and you can probably find it for 70 if you get the playstation or the xbox version instead of the pc and the only difference between that and the PC one is the just the labels on the button. It might say X instead of one, or 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 some weird PlayStation uh, symbol instead of uh, instead of uh, you know a number. That's the only difference. There's like three versions of it. One is aimed at marked it towards Xbox. One is marked it towards uh, PlayStation, and another and it has comes a little switch. All right, we're here. Let's call the tower. Chris, take off clearance. Alright, I'm going to go about 110, I think. 115, maybe. Ooh. Okay. Alright. Laps of takeoff position. Two pumps are on, cross check both sides. And now let's not forget the propeller RPM, huh? Look at that, I was forgetting that already. Otherwise, we'd probably have a problem. Now, as we probably would crash right on takeoff. Let's make sure nothing's coming here. That's fine. Fine, we seem clear. Propeller RPM is 
approaching 100. There it is at 100, those little blue levers. bit of wind but this plane is so smooth to it's it's it takes off so quickly all right i think i said a 115 is our bearing we want Let's do a slight turn to the east here a very uh leisurely bank he really wants to climb this airplane They keep flying low over the coast. And there we are. We are off. Let's see if... Uh, yep, uh, everything seems to be in order with Sim Toolkit Pro. I'm going to do... Just uh, make sure the bot's on. So I'm just going to do predict, but I'm not going to put a prediction. In case someone wants to predict the landing rate. Yep. Sim Toolkit Pro is joined in. And here we are, the Northern Scotland. Drop off a medic, one of the one of my favorite missions in this. And I slow slowly getting more experience points, slowly getting uh and with more experience points you rank up, and as you rank up funny little town there, as you rank up you uh you get access to more missions. But if you want to just try all the missions from the big and without how you can play in like in sort of sandbox mode and then all all missions are available weather's pretty clear so far the north sea at least lossy mouth uh, air traffic control i'm leaving your airspace and the frequency i'm acknowledging your frequency change hypertext 01 Fly over the coast, a little hop over down to near Knock. A very, very charming. There's Knock Hill. Knock, knock. Anyone home? There's Grange Silly Yearn Sh near Shields Park. Someone needs a medic there. Plenty of fields for us to land. Shouldn't be a problem with this BN2. What's this? Maverston EGLZ. We have a couple of other airfields around here. People's waiting for his money to be returned, and after that, I'm gonna see if I can get the set from another place and the one I normally order. And Gladiator not available here. Yeah, I, I Gladiator is not available here either. I had to order it from. Uh, I had to pay like I think like twenty or thirty bucks with FedEx for it to be shipped from China. Too bad, but I, I wanted. I, I did a lot of research, and that's the one I. I I'm very happy with it. I mean, I, I saw, I had never seen in, uh, one of these T-16,000 or whatever in person, but I saw one at Curse Place in Italy last time I went to see my mom. It's a giant thing, you know, it's it's excellent build quality and everything, but it's so big, so it was a bit too big for me. And it's expensive too, you know, much more expensive. The lighting in the cockpit here is nice. 
I have to learn how to use this. I have to download a manual for this uh, Garmin GNS 530. Little old school uh, GPS and I assume an autopilot system. Probably turn on autopilot of this. Pretty sure there is autopilot. Uh, although I, I don't know how to use it. So <laughs> right now I can only fly this manually in VFR mode. Really gentle airplane. It really feels like you're, it moves smoothly through the air. It feels like you're flying this thing. I love it. I'm sounding like I'm a I'm a paid marketer for black box simulations, but I am a, I'm just a very happy customer. Even with uh, with the uh, even with the niggles and and the, some of the sound issues, I, I trust they'll they'll fix those. That's the awesome thing about this video game is like people keep can make anyone you can if you want to learn some 3D modeling and you want to put your house in this video game the way it looks you can do it. And the amazing thing about moddable games that are that are that can uh, let the, the the video game player the community create things for it. Almost there. Approaching the spot to drop off this medic. Chill parks. You know, yesterday I submitted a bug report for that elite bug that's driving me nuts. That uh, you know what, the screen fades to black when you're driving an SRV from the uh, with the external camera view. I actually went and and I submitted a bug. And I I clip I made a little highlight of the stream when it happened and I sent it to them. And my mouth. I was so frustrated with it. My mouth went like this. I was like, I got like a, a thin mouth, you know. And so, hopefully, they they will convince them to look into it and and fix that. I st I'm still having frame rate issues at at some points in in Odyssey. I thought uh, it was better after the the update one, but it's still it just uh, when you when you in a in a. All right, copy my copy that uh, dispatch less than three miles from the drop, drop zone. I'm gonna find a uh, look at where this uh, these people are. There's our shadow. Let's uh, cut the power here down a little bit, and let's look around to see if we can see uh, where this emergency airplane crash it seems to be located, so we can leer then close to it. Is that it? There it is. There it is. There is a crash plane light there. Okay, that's uh, that's a pretty good field. There's even a little landing strip there. Let's land on that little. It looks like a little landing strip. Let's for like a crop duster or something. Let's land on that.
Oh, this is a bit disappointing at the moment. I'm just going to leave it be for now. I'm not really getting anything. I might en want to enjoy it when it's less frustrating. Yeah, I agree with you. I think sometimes it's good to let let them, you know, fix those those annoying bugs before you get too committed to it and too frustrated. Um, I'm still... When it works, I, I really enjoy it. And I apologize the other day, Sheep. I had to leave quickly uh, during that mission. It was fun. But I, f I felt... Uh, I was a little... I, I it was a little brusque the timing I had to leave. I wanted to have uh, a, a rendezvous with uh, you and uh, that uh, commander Willard, Willard, Willem, Willard Deckard. Where is the place? See, see, this plane wants to climb so much, it's climbing now. Okay. But it's good to take your time with the, with the landings, let's see. There it is, there it is. That's the accent. There's a little landing, what looks like to be a little landing strip for a crop dusting plane there. Maybe it's just a feature of the landscape. I'm gonna put the flaps all the way down. That means we're gonna have to trim the plane for this landing. It's okay, I had to get going as well. I stayed a little bit to welcome and talk a little bit. Cool, it's very nice of you. And yeah, that, that would make, what made me feel bad because I didn't. I know he, he made the effort to join us and then I just took off. I'm going to send him a message and say, hey man, sorry, you know, I'll, I'll make sure I, I, I spend the time there to, to meet you the next time. A bunch of stuff on sale right now. It's, uh, I, I don't know if it's because it's Memorial Day weekend coming up here in the United States, but I am about to Thinking about buying the F-18 on DCS and start streaming some jets as well. When you feel the need for speed sometimes, it's good to load up a jet seam. And it's, uh, as I often mention in the stream, is where my, uh, my pilot career started. My digital pilot career started was with jets. Thinking about getting the F-16, but that's not ready yet. That's an alpha. F-18 is considered pretty much done. And you can land on carriers and stuff. And but it's expensive, you know. At uh, and on sale, it's like 60 bucks. It usually costs 80 bucks. Isn't that crazy? All right. We have the magic speed. There we are, 60 knots right on the dot. This is looking like a better approach than my other one. A little bit of wind here. Transporter form dispatch. Ooh. You did it. Nice. Minus three. Wow, that was a pretty good landing. A little bit of a jump there over something. Wow, even if I say so myself, that was crazy. Negative three. Oh, no worries. I think, uh, yeah, there's... There's no one else here, I think. It's just, uh, so, uh, <laughs> you know, I don't want to keep, you have to type things in. Just chill out. If you want a change of music, a change of tempo, feel free to let me know. I'm very happy to oblige. Flaps up. Hopefully, I won't uh, smack my landing gear and ruin the airplane going over this little bump on this road here. Bringing the pilot right over there. Whoa, yeah, it's a little bumpy, but managed.
Oh, okay, there's a float plane to try to land here. That's interesting. All right. And here we go. Uh, let's set the parking brake. Dispatch from Medic. I'm on my way. Passenger like uh, float Cessna caravan. I think this is like a look at that. All right, we'll fly back to base. Maybe we can just fly somewhere else. Take a look at the logs. Waiting for Lenny's on takeoff. I don't think I have to fly back home. So, uh, let's go to, let's fly over to, uh, this place, what is this, Egan by Leslie, small little field there, little farm strip, oh no, there it is, let's go land over there. We're going to keep going down the Scottish coast. Maybe we could go to Inverness. Just keeping the fuel pumps on. I had forgotten to take them off. It's probably not good, but uh, as the flight simulation gets better, that will cause me trouble. Let's take a moment now to uh, change the music up a little bit here. Maybe something like this. Don't understand any of the buttons. <laughs> hey Tim, how you doing? Happy Friday, sir. Which buttons, Shipa? The uh, on the airplane? Oh, oh, the oh the pumps. Yeah. Well, the only reason I know anything about them is because the, my first stream of this uh, this guy who actually flew these airplanes in your life came on the stream and told me about it and and a second thing is that i i watched a video of of this airplane being flown and uh and i noticed that oh i mean this is, looks pretty deep here from this side i'm not gonna go here and this air and this guy like when he on the youtube video when he would take take off and land he would always go to the fuel pump or to, to touch those and then i read the flight manual of the airplane that's available for download in the black box uh, simulations uh website and it tells you like uh the the talks about the you know the takeoff procedure and uh, you have to turn the pumps on to take off and after you take off and you're safe height then you turn them off and also to land you turn them on and off it's something to do with uh i don't know pumping pumping fuel to these uh to these two lycomi engines on the port and starboard wing of this uh I call it a space shuttle because inside, look at this, it looks like the space shuttle cockpit here. And from outside, uh, the nose kind of looks like a little seagull. Oh, okay, managed to go over that. There, this kind of looks like a seagull, the beak. Don't you always want to point fuel to the engine? Yeah, uh, I think that you do, but I think also that these high wing planes, you see how, how the, the, the wings of this uh, airplane are high, they're above the engine. So I think the gravity just pushes them down by itself. And maybe the pump is, uh, maybe when you're, when you're landing, the, 
the the configuration of the aircraft for emergency if you're not getting enough pump they want you to to have those pumps on i don't know it's a it's a question for uh a good question i don't i don't know you can see how the ground affects the handling of the airplane which is really nice i think it's better in places that has ha have had a world update pass like uh, i'm in i'm in scotland now so the british isles have had an update pass I've landed in places in Africa, for example, that is super smooth, you know. And here, these ditches from the satellite view, they're actually ditches. They actually affect the handling of the airplane. I have to, I slowed down a little bit. Here's another one. Here's a ditch. But yeah, it makes sense you would want to pump fuel to the airplane. And I, and I think as feature, this is something else I learned from, uh, I think Iceberg mentioned that the Cessna's the ones that have a high wing, like the wing is where the fuel is in the airplane, so the fuel's on this wings here. The ones that have the high wing. I'm off-road driving here with the BN2 Islander, ladies and gentlemen. The ones that have a high wing, the gravity is enough generally to put the fuel, pull, pump the fuel for the engine. And the ones that have a low wing, you have to once the you have to switch the pumps in mid-flight uh, one between one wing to the other. I don't know, understand why. Something about balance. Maybe use it'd be weird that they use the fuel from one from one side before they use it to before they had to switch to the next wing because it would seems like it would make the plane imbalanced if uh, used one side before before the other. Learning experience. Here let's get to the I'm gonna that was a I, I like that approach. I landed with negative three Heat per minute, which is almost like I think is a record for me. I'm just gonna take off the same way because I, I assume the wind is coming from that side. All right. Very short little. Trip here, but this is the BN2 Islander. It has this capability. Oh, Timmy is predicting negative 100. Thanks for your guess, Tim. Let's uh, switch the music. That was the taxiing music. Let's switch now for a bit of a more uh, travel uh, theme thing, perhaps. And let me hydrate a little bit. Stand by. Thanks, Sheepush. Thanks, Tim. If you're here, ladies and gentlemen, you want to do a prediction? Uh, any rate leaderboard. Doomed Belt 139 or 38 out there today. Friday here in New York. It is colder. It is cloudy. It is windy. We have a we have a, some sort of a weather system coming in. We have even a flood of coastal flooding warning tonight. Here in Neofly, we just dropped off a medic. Now we're gonna take off and I'm gonna keep moving south. I wanna go see the Skiergorns National Park, so let's just fly south here to Leslie. Seems to be an airfield there. Egan. Uh, heading to Egan right now. Heading to Egan. Again. All right. Let's go. Uh, flaps for to takeoff position. Oh, no, not all the way down, just a takeoff. Cross jack in the back, yep, yeah, looks down, and here we go, full power. Fly safe, and good luck with the landing. Loves to climb this airplane. 
And we're safely up. Let's do it properly now. Let's switch the fuel pumps off. This one and that one. And we want a bearing of uh, pretty much almost directly south. We head to Leslie. Got a couple of predictions coming in. One from Timmy Thumb for negative 100 and Sheep of negative 45. I had a record breaking for me. Negative three feet per minute landing just a moment ago on a grassy field. Easterly winds, winds coming from the east here in Scotland today, it seems. But when you fly, when you land into the wind, you can have some pretty smooth landings. If you land with a tailwind, you get ready to rattle and roll. You put some rock and roll music in that case. Thinking about getting a F-18 for D Digital Combat Simulator World, DCS, to get some jet action here, some, uh, we can play some uh, rock and roll while flying airplanes. Either F-16 or F-18, those are my two choices. F-16 is not ready yet as an alpha, but already flyable and already the air-to-air -air modes are good. You can fire missiles and dogfight. The air-to-ground modes are in development still. F-18 is pretty much ready. I'm leaning towards the F-18, but I love the F-16. I don't know. I might fall asleep. I'm putting the seat down, but I tend to do afterward. nap. <laughs> copy that, Shippa. Well, if you, you already did your prediction, so if you win, I'll, I'll make sure that I put you on there, all right? <laughs> this music, too, maybe probably put you to sleep, right? That's all right. Hey. You'll put me to sleep, too. Oh, I love afternoon naps. Let's go lower here. Doomed belt 1393 out there. Very pretty green lighting here. It's 10.48 a.m. We have some windmills. We have uh, little cows, little sheep, chickens. Vegetables, trees, bugs, little squirrels, probably deer and antelope running around. Maybe not antelope around here, maybe a uh, fox and uh, all sorts of animals out here in nature. Lots of farmland, there's hay bales, got the human apes in the cars as well driving in the on the roads not on purpose i just ran out of gas at this time <laughs> yeah I, I i really enjoy afternoon naps after uh, especially after eating it's common in the southern europe and i think it's really good for you even like a 20 minute nap is so good for you Really recharges or batteries if to the point that I think if everyone in the world did it people would be less uh, upset you know people would be more chill and uh, and uh, it would be a better world if people had better sleep uh, more sleep even little naps so nice Leslie move into this base landing there and uh let's see what missions we have over there i don't think it has air traffic control Egan.
Where is it? Let's find this place. Very pretty landscape. Very chill. Looks like a little landing strip too, perhaps, or just a field. That it? Oh, I think it's that. Wow, yeah. It's that there, that's the runway, okay. Grass runway. Okay, I think I'm gonna land from this direction, so uh, let's put the flaps down. Let's put the pumps on. Gonna have a tendency to wobble up oh and then down again and you put the flaps down there's a little airplane yep that's just uh that's just uh from the satellite view that helps us find the place I trimmed a bit too much nose down, really coming in low here, but that's cool. This is what this plane excels at, low flying and landing in uh, unprepared short airstrips. We're just going to go around this hill and we're going to pull into uh, Egan, Echo Gulf, India November, I think is the ICAO code of this airfield little farm field pumps are on right there there's those houses you can see a little airplane there on the on the satellite uh, texturing and there's the runway i'm gonna just turn right into it right now cutting power we're already at the 64 65 knots uh, golden airspeed here really drops quite quickly if you cut power too much a heavier airplane obviously than a Cessna it has two engines you know well very strange approach here but uh, we're gonna try this go in straight in I might have to go around but let's see if it's quite smoothly. transporter almost done go to the park hey Negative 163, Timmy Thumb. Congratulations, Timmy Thumb. A little applause here for Timmy Thumb, the winning guest. The landing rate. Increment his score. Laps up, because we, as we learned from... Uh, our follower yesterday, uh, Slayer T, and Icebird as well. And I think with the sim update for it, this is more pronounced. Because I hadn't noticed it as much yesterday. I did yesterday. When you have the flaps down on this airplane, the, those two light combing engines pushing all the air back. When you're taxing, it really makes the it it, it makes your nose uh, go up. And put the flaps up and that doesn't doesn't happen and you got a more stable aircraft all right let's park right here over this textured airplane on the ground And 
let's check our fuel levels. We got plenty of fuel. Just gonna put the parking brake. And let's, uh, I'll tap to Neofly. Let's change the music a little bit as well. Well, let's leave it here for now, but let's take a look at Neofly. And let's see uh, what missions we have here at Echo Gulf, India, November. After over two years, they're removing our uh, the scaffolding from our building here. So there may be some noise today. It's going to be nice, I think. All right, what have we got around here? Keep moving. Uh, should we go visit Aberdeen, maybe? Should we? No, I wanted to go to that park. There's a park here somewhere. Here we go. Cairngorms National Park. And look at that. There's a... Uh, there's a passenger mission there. Okay. And what else do we have over here? We have that, that one is a helicopter one. You have to have a helicopter. Land as close as possible to the VIP destination in a ski center. I wonder if I can do it with the plane. Can I do this with a plane? Should I try it? Or is it helicopter only, I wonder? So let's click fly and find out. I mean, that looks like a landable area there. And even here, I mean, the BN2 Islander can really land in a short so let's try let's see if it lets me do it with the with the vn2 islander connect and fly i'm gonna payload the 360 ju 510 so i'll come back here to the simulator and we'll uh make sure that this is at uh what 510 so that's what Transporter from dispatch, we have a VIP in Thury. It is important they are flown to their destination without delay. Okay, they're in a hurry too, okay. Okay, let's go. Transporter from dispatch, boarding VIP. Hello. Good morning. Hello. All right. So pumps are on. Transporter, VIP on board. You are clear to go. All right, let's go. We're going to take off and we're going to take a bearing. We're going to go basically west, southwest, about 260, bearing 260. And uh, I think we have to get there at a certain time. I'm not sure about that. There's a limit or a, a time limit. They say they're in a hurry, but I don't see something about time limits. Let's just go. All right. Uh, center track IR. Parking brake off. Head down the runway. Flaps to take off position. Uh, visual cross check. Yep. Yeah. Now ready to go. Fly safe. And we're off. Flaps are up. 
we switch the fuel pumps off both uh, starboard and port engines still amazes me that they have the fuel pump thing right next to the fuel gauge because if you turn that off the engine shuts off i think i'm not going to test it now that's a pretty crazy decision put those two right next to each other i find what did i say uh 260 i think all right yeah west southwest about 260 and we're going to be heading to some clouds there in the distance, I think. It'll be interesting. Not sure about this music. Let's uh, go back to uh, something like uh, this. We're listening to mynoise.net. Various sound generators from a gentleman called Mr. Pigeon in Belgium. Which is ideal for, for flying, I find. Pretty airplane. The BN2 Islander. Made in the Isle of Wight, originally designed and built in the Isle of Wight. These days it's built, uh, still built, still, still produced this airplane in Romania, I think. Huh? All right. A little off course here, but that's no problem. We're not uh, an airliner, we're just... Uh, Uh, we're just a uh, general aviation pilot doing missions here using uh, neofly.net, a wonderful, not something you have to be connected to the internet for, but if you are connected to the internet, you can have a Bing Maps map, track your flight, just like your own personal flight radar 24. Check out the posture, check out the posture, sensor, track IR. Joey! Good morning, happy Friday to you, sir. Thanks for dropping by. Hope things are good uh, over in uh, California. And there you're going to have a nice weekend. Go ahead out the window a little bit. Wow, the scaffolding is going down. Amazing. After I think over ever I've never seen this building that we live without scaffolding. After two years, scaffolding going down here, ladies and gentlemen. Gonna stay flying low here, stay under these clouds. Good to be here, just want to be here, say a quick hello. Hello, gonna watch you while I get some work done. Awesome, man. Always appreciate your visit. Very much indeed. They're currently taking some VIP over to here, I think. Not too far away at all. And that'll get us closest, closer to uh, Cairngorms National Park. I want to go see that place. So after we drop this VIP, we're going to fly over here to Echo Gulf, Zulu, Lima. There's this nature reserve, Abernethy, in northern Scotland. Yeah, this is uh, mynoise.net is a website by this very talented and very kind person called Mr. Pigeon. I donate to this website and uh, he gives, basically gives you noise generators. There's loads of different noise generators there. 
and there's radios and look at the sky they're peeping in through the clouds and um, and it's just the very chill music Awesome to see people making this stuff available for people to use and yeah. if you have trouble sleeping there's music for that out there love seeing the little counterweight on the aileron there so awesome nice little detail beautiful little airplane There it is, the little counterweights on the aileron, the BN2 Islander. Wonderful fly machine. Flying under the clouds here, very nice lighting, no rain, just a low, uh, low ceiling, low, ce low clouds here in Scotland. We are here, ladies and gentlemen, there's the whole wild world here, the United Kingdom, we got Europe, we got Denmark to the east, uh, Norway to the northeast, we got Greenland to the northwest, uh, beautiful lands landscape here. Oh, and we're already close to their destination. If you want to get into the land array competition, uh, now would be a good time to do it. I think uh, both uh, Tim... No. Yeah, both Timmy and... Uh... Oh, no, that was the previous one. Okay, so we have no entries now, but that's all right. No, en no, no need to enter. If you're just chilling out, listening to the music, you'll be taking out some of these views. Just chill out, enjoy your Friday... Maybe have a beer, maybe finish any work you got to do before you can have a beer. Maybe have some tea, maybe have some lovely food. Maybe smoke a big joint or eat a magic gummy bear. Maybe do none of the above and just uh, chill out. Go a frisbee outside, go for a run, play a video game, take a nap. It's all good. Jody's got a negative 155 prediction here. Thank you, Joey. Awesome. If you're watching and you don't know about this, uh, I'll put a little link there. You can, yeah, yeah, you're welcome to do all of that. <laughs> Once in a while, I like to combine, you know, one of the great pleasures of life is combining a magic gummy bear with a lovely meal and maybe a beer. And maybe I won't be able to stream anymore because I'll just pass out uh, a big smile on my face on the couch or in bed. But once in a while, I do donor streams, you know, I, I usually have some indication in the title that it may be, uh, my state of mind may be altered, but, uh, <laughs> long weekend, it's Memorial D Weekend, isn't it? Here in the States, uh, the way I, uh, the reason I really know is because, uh, some friends I play Arma with reminded me of it, but the other reason I know is that everything is on sale on Steam and on uh, I2 Sturmovic has a sale right now. I'm gonna buy the, the C47 that's coming out for that game. I'm really excited about that one. Beautiful airplane. Lots of countries used it in the Second World War and then also uh, after the war and it's still used. That's still a, 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 a classic design, C47 Dakota. It was also built in the Soviet Union, I think as the Lead 2 and even in Japan. Japanese forces use it as well. I forget the name of the Japanese one, but same same design, but just uh, you know, built in different places. This is not an airstrip we're gonna land at. VIP landing zone at three miles. Uh, copy that dispatch. Uh, this is Hypertex Hero One uh, uh, doing a flyby to determine the best approach. Over. All right, so I'm gonna fo follow this road. It's the A nine three nine. And we're gonna that there's the road and we should overfly it's that place there you have to land probably but let's just fly over it and get a good look around we got Timmy coming in of a one negative 150 all right 
Timmy won one already. You have to remember that Timmy has won one. In fact, let me let me make a note of that before I forget. There's the note. Note it down so I can update the landing rate afterwards. All right, here we come to this uh, where this EVIP wants to be put down. It's gonna be uh, over there. Uh, tricky one. I can probably come through there. I'm not sure about the wind direction. Let's put the flaps down. I feel like I'm getting a, a tailwind now because look how fast I'm moving. Maybe it's because I'm all of a sudden close to the mountain. Let me go down, keep the airplane flying a little bit this direction, then I'm going to do a bank to starboard. I land on the road, but I always find it a bit weird that uh, there's no collision modeling of the car, so it takes a little both away from the, from the suspension of disbelief of the video game. Turn the music down a little bit so I don't get too distracted. And smash into the side of this uh, hill here. Very pretty landscape. Maybe just downhill here would be good. I might just go in for a landing right here. This, look, this is feeling pretty good. Though he wants to be right there, so let, let's, let's overfly it and see how it, that feels. Maybe we can do it from this direction. Maybe this will be it. Oh! Nice landing. Close enough. Oh. Set your parking brake on. Wow, okay, that wasn't too bad. Timmy! Two in a row! An applause for Timmy, ladies and gentlemen. Close enough, they say, okay. Bye bye, thank you. Transporter, all VIP are disembarked. You can take off. All right. Let me update the leaderboard here before I forget. And we'll also change the music up a little bit. Thanks, chefs. Went to my standard negative 77. <laughs> no worries. Stand by. Timmy Fum with eight correct predictions now, still holding on to that third place. All right, let's keep moving west. And let's go land at uh, Echo Gulf Zulu Lima. Pretty much uh, again west southwest from our position. I will update the stream information. Do Echo Echo Gulf Zulu Lima. That's our current position, and this will make, have us overfly uh, Gorms National Park. Looks like an interesting area. There's uh, there's some locks in there. There's Lock Einick. I love these Scottish names. There's a 
Briar Riach Kamnas Krish. Wonderful. All right. And we're going to go land in uh, Echo Gulf, Zulu Lima, whatever that is. Okay. Fuel pumps. I think if I had forgotten to turn them on, but it uh, didn't seem to cause a problem. Ooh. All right, should I just try to take off? Uh, I'm going to taxi a little bit here. Parking brake is off. This is, a, I think I'll be able to take off in this uh, area here. I think I take off in pretty short landing, landing, uh, pretty short uh, takeoff run. So he said, I forgot to ask, did you ever get the Neofly banner mod to work properly? I did. I can't pull it with this plane. You have to use what what happens is you you have to select a plane that that they add a Cessna 152 that they add to your planes list. And what confused me was that it's not the default Cessna 152. It's a it's a different one. And you have to select that one for the banner to appear because I think the way they did it is they, they put the model of the banner together with the airplane, so you have to use a custom Cessna 152. It's it'll still it has the same name, it, it won't give you a conflict about names, but uh, that's what I was getting wrong. So I did get it to work. You could uh, once when I land in this new place here, I could bring over the I could uh, pay Scotty. We're in Scotland, you know, maybe he even do it for a good price. I can talk to Scotty in orbit around Earth for the Starship Enterprise to beam our Cessna 152 to the new position here and then uh, and try a banner mission to show you. Yeah, that was confusing for me though because it wasn't too clear for me from the from the instructions. Let's try to not clip our wing over here on the on that warehouse. Whoa, 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 okay. And now let's aim this way. I'm in a little trouble getting my position right here. I have to go a little bit further this way. Hopefully this will work. I mean, I don't know. Takeoff is... Uh, there's no wind sock. I think the wind is coming from that direction. I, w I hope they eventually add a, ver a very slight uh, motion to the trees like other video games have. Uh, that would give us a clue for the direction of the wind here, right? Because it's not, a, not an airport, so that's why it doesn't have a... Uh, all right let's take a look at the drone view real quick to see if this uh this could could work ah Maybe down the road. This this is looking a little iffy. There's too many trees, I think. Submarine. Oh yeah, there's a submarine car right there. <laughs> That's looking a little iffy. I'm thinking I. If the wind is strong enough, it'll work, but if it's not, uh, I think I might have to taxi back here, go up this hill a bit. It has powerful engines, it'll get up that hill and then go this way, and that'll be, uh, that'll be a better bet. All right, let's try that. Oh, car. Oh, watch out. No, oh, watch out for the wing. Ah, I'm just going to pretend uh, that's not happening there. All right. 
to go up this way a little bit we'll go downhill give us more uh momentum it does model momentum with the physics it's pretty amazing the ground handling i mean i don't know if it's totally accurate probably not but there's a couple of powerful Lycoming engines landing bonus lost I don't know what that means. Okay, here we go. We're just going to do it. Take off. It's going to be crazy, but here we go. Oh, car, go! Transporter, fly safe. Whew. Close. Almost missed those trees, but we managed. And almost, mi almost hit that car, too. Okay, let's go west. This is the Lonesome Traveler channel in MyNoise.net. Very nice. And directly ahead of us, we have, uh, what is it called? Here, here Gorms National Park. So it's just a few pumps off now. Come on, hello. Seven twenty-three a.m. in New York City. Thanks, Joey. Have a good have a good uh, end of your day, man. Just a uh, Ben uh, Avon Peak, kilometer up, up ahead here. Can you see it now? Nice. Beautiful Scottish landscape. The noise tends to be a little loud on the outside. There's not a, a separate noise. Um, level for the outside and the inside of Microsoft Flight Simulator. It would be nice if there was so that I could lower the noise of the airplane engine outside to go more of a the soundscape we're experiencing here. Opa! I'm 
are just gorgeous. Look at that. Very beautiful place. I want to go here in IRL one day. Maybe a magical sort of fairy tale type place. Makes me feel like playing like a, some sword swinging exploration game, like a go back to Valheim or a Lord of the Rings thing. These kinds of landscapes. There's good visibility this cockpit, that's what I really love about it too. You know, this little cut to the left here. Crash in the mountain and the right. Look at that lighting. Oh, bit of a... Uh, Tiling issue there of the satellite imagery. Fuel is getting lower. I'm not really of looking at the mixture or anything like that because these are all short hops. A big mountain up ahead. Go up. Massive mountainous area, but you know, not super craggy, they're quite undulating. Ancient landscape. So. low level flying here to, to get the sense of the speed of this airplane is going to it's, it's, it's moving it's moving you know one airplane to fly again two islander very docile in the handling likes to climb but likes to fly low too All right, I'm going to follow this valley here into our next landing spot. You can see where it is right here. Follow that valley in into Feshi Bridge. I'm going to go have some uh, butter biscuits. What are those called? I always forget. Shortbread biscuits. Maybe a glass of tea. Maybe uh, have a little whiskey afterwards. Maybe of some trout or some other fish that has been fished in these rivers here. Oh, there's the comfort bonus. But I dropped the VIP already, so it's just me, the comfort, and you, 
ladies and gentlemen, who are accompanying me here in this mission. This little Friday flight. That's no big deal. to fly in these canyons. All right, but I think it's time for us to pause that and maybe get us a little something a little more upbeat from our playlist here. Let's uh, bring back some uh, Let's see. Something like this. Good day to fly, happy Friday. Being from New York City via Scotland, the Northern Highlands. After doing some Neo Fly missions to deliver VIPs and uh, medics and all sorts of other stuff, we're currently approaching Feshi Bridge, where we will land at uh, Echo Gulf Zulu Lima. And we'll turn this volume down a little bit here. Hoping your week was good and your weekend will be even better in this Memorial Day weekend here in the United States at least. F-18 action, maybe F-16 action will be coming to the stream soon. Because uh, DCS World has a sale going on. Those airplanes they usually cost a lot of money or a little bit cheaper. I've been wanting to fly a jet, but not a jet in Microsoft Simulator, a jet in uh, that I can actually use the, the gun in for a contrast to these more peaceful civilian streams. Ooh, there's a look at that light out there. Is that the airfield? I think that might be it. Yep, that's it. Probably no air, air traffic control control tower in this, but uh, Feshi Bridge air, Airfield, I'll just select the runway for landing, and I'll announce a full stop landing and announce my position. Alright. Lovely lighting here. Okay, we'll turn the fuel pumps on. Go for the port engine and the starboard one. We'll set flaps down to landing configuration and we'll trim uh, appropriately. Nose down. I have a tendency to get the nose to go up. I didn't spot a landing uh, a windsock, so we're just going to have to uh, pick a spot and land. It'll wind, headwind. The airplane should be able to handle it. Short takeoff and landing capable aircraft. 
perfect for bush flying. It has two engines, so if you have a problem with one, you have a second one. Flown in this uh, when I was a kid in real life, and uh, had one emergency landing in one due to a storm, and took off again. It's not worse for wear, which is uh, one of the reasons I really love this plane. I'm happy to finally be flying one in a flight simulation. Of the caliber of the quality of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2021. Really a, a wonderful achievement in graphics, sound, flight modeling, and just the simple fact that you can go anywhere in the world. Here we go. We're at the, pretty much the magic uh, 65 knots there a little bit, going a little bit faster, a little more power. Let's not uh, burn down too hard here. Transporter, almost done. Secure the plane. All right. Taxi back to where I assume is the parking area in this field. Echo Golf Zulu Lima. And maybe we'll pay Scotty to transport our Cessna 152 with the banner to with the banner attached over from uh, Lossy Mouth Air Force Base over here. Well, first the Starship Enterprise and then back over here. And uh, maybe do a banner mission to demonstrate to uh joey later i could clip it and demonstrate banner fly missions wraps up That means little tail in Portuguese, and that's what I often call my cats. Sometimes I feel I see a cat to the left of my head, but it's not. It's just a reflection or something. But the way your brain works is that there's a little moment where our brain works. Is that when you see something, it automatically wants to categorize as something. So there's a very short little moment of uh, that you can take before you automate your brain decides of what you're seeing is what you're seeing so if you see a, a reflection that looks like a cat your brain is going to almost immediately say cat there is a little moment between your brain says it's a cat and you see it very short if you learn to stay with that moment a bit uh, it's sort of a meditative thing all right parking brake on vip mission ended thanks for your efficiency Thank you, dispatch. Uh, I'm going to take a little break and bring the Cessna over, beam it to the Enterprise with Scotty's help, and then uh, and then bring it back here. Fuel pumps are off. Uh, we'll just uh, cut the fuel off on the starboard engine and on the port engine. Let's check that they're off. They are. Port mags uh, disabled and uh, switch off the avionics and we'll switch off uh, port generator, the starboard generator, and the battery. And uh, and that's it. I think we're good to go. I already turned that off. I don't know why, uh, if Microsoft Flight Simulator wants me to press another button to me to go to the, uh, anyway, we'll leave it there. Back to the main menu. 
And now let's uh, go back to Neo Fly. Pretty area to fly and I'm glad to be here. My Cessna 152 is all the way up here in Wick. Near Wick in uh, Wick John O'Groats Airport. So let's pay uh, Scotty to beam it or up to the Starship Enterprise and orbit around Earth. And then down again to uh, Echo Gulf, Zulu Lima, Teshi Bridge Airfield. Nice little airfield, nice little place to fly from. So the way you do that is uh, we right click, uh, we go to the hangar, then you right click on the Cessna 152, and you say, uh, Bring to pilot location. Only 790 bucks. You know, I said we're in Scotland. Scotty's, Scotty, uh, engineer, chief engineer Scotty's uh, home country, homeland. So he's giving it, making it a little cheaper for us. All right, your aircraft, uh, Cessna 152 is now here. That's the aircraft you need to do for the banners. So let me just uh, take a little moment here to take a break and I'll be right back for a banner flight from Feshi Bridge Airfield. Thanks for being here. I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to run a 30 second ad if that's all right with you. I won't. I'll be right back.
All right. Should we do one more mission of the Islander or should we do the banner? One more mission of the Islander or a banner mission with the Cessna. Maybe let's do a quick banner mission of the Cessna. So I just brought it over here. We are currently in Scotland. There's the world. There's the UK. Here's us. We're in the Scotland, Scotland, Scottish Highlands near Cairngorms National Park. A little place called Feshy Bridge. Where there's a nice little airstrip we just landed at. He's doing this Neofly pilot career, traveling around the world while doing missions to be able to afford to do so. We couldn't have $22,000 and two airplanes. A Cessna 152 and a Britain Norman Islander N2BA. Lovely air, air fly, aero flying machine. All right, let's do a Cessna banner mission here. Let's see if uh, we can go and advertise to some tourists. There's a bunch of her here right around. Uh, look at that. Knock. I love these names. Knock Frying. Let's do it around there. Maybe there's some tourists on that, on that hill and we want to go and plaster some advertising on the sky for them. Also a little village here in the Silver Glades. We could uh, maybe this one. Let's do this one. Advertising zone. There you go. Doesn't pay a lot. How about that one? Yeah, the advertise doesn't play a lot. But uh, okay, let's do it at the village first. I'm gonna go uh, choose plane uh, fly. You have to be this. Oh, before I do this, okay. I should go. This uh, here is the trick for the banner. Uh, and and banner going C one fifty two. Update the description. Whoa, music level got high here. Stand by. Equalize these volumes. All right, we are at what was it? Echo Gulf Zulu Lima. Echo Gulf, Zulu, Lima, Eshi Bridge, Airfield, Aviemore. So the trick of the to be able to make the banner show up when you do the banner missions in your fly is uh, when you pick the airplane, you don't go to the default Cessna all the way to the right hand side here. You don't get that one, the 152. You go and you get this one, which you which is the Neofly banner tow one that you install. Okay, you select that airplane and then it'll work. Okay. And uh, if you donate to Neofly, you get a donator skin that I've modified. And uh, right, I'm just gonna live players, live weather here. I'm just gonna click on fly here. I don't have the mission started yet, but uh, my, you click on fly so then because I was just using the BN2 Islander, and now I want Microsoft Flight Simulator to tell Neofly now I'm using the Cessna so that it knows. So I actually click on fly first. And that should avoid any issues that Neoflag gets confused that you're using a different airplane than the one uh, than the one the mission uh, called for. Okay, okay. So now I I, I loaded in with the Cessna here. All right, so now a uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator will, will know that. I'll, I'll go back because uh, I don't know if it'll spawn. I don't think I needed to go back, but I think uh, just to make sure but to spawn in those, those uh, for this mission, you take off and then you circle back and then you fly low over the airfield to hook the banner onto the aircraft to make sure it spawns that stuff. It probably would do it if I just stand there, if I had just uh, stay, stay there. But just to make sure I'm going to get... Uh, okay, Hypertech Cessna 152, connect and fly. Nice, okay. Uh, and uh, we'll go there. We'll just do that from in here. We they remove everything. It's going to be the pilot. So we have a 170 there. And uh, we'll click fly. Hello, advertising mission today. Take off, then come back to hook the banner. The banner is located at the exact airport dot on the map. Okay, so the banner is gonna we're gonna take off, and the banner is gonna be uh at a after we take off a, a dot appears to show us where the banner is. Okay. 
as we take off. Ready to go. First thing first, take off. We can go straight out. Back to the Cessna briefly here. Okay. Rotate. Now fly close over the banner to hook it. Right here, so let's just fly right on it. There it is. Got it. Nice one. You now have the banner hooked. Fly to the first waypoint. Flaps up. I'm gonna fly to the first waypoint, and we can go to an outside view to show you that uh, this banner is actually there. And here we go. My little custom banner of a universal basic income for all human beings. That I, uh, you, you can edit the file that uh, they provide and then you can pull your own custom banner thanks thanks Tim and thanks for the prediction too all right just follow the valley follow the river it's pretty close by If I'm coming in for it with a negative 100 feet per minute in the landing rate prediction. I think I already updated it. And check uh, landing rate leaderboard there. Green Thumb is in third place. I think uh, Sheep was in the second place. And I think Icebird is in first now. And here we go. That's an advert. I, I don't mind advertising. Love, look at that lighting down there. Just lovely. Green shot right there. Here's the town where we'll be advertising around. Inverdrui and Aviemore. We have Loch Garton to the northeast, Loch Morlick to the east. Locks, the lakes. Maybe you should go for a trip to Loch Ness to see if you can see the monster. Once you get to the first waypoint, then you uh, then you a little pink uh, waypoint appears. Another waypoint appears, a pink one, a magenta one, and then you fly to that one. And then you go back, and then you go back to land. You complete the mission. You can fly between the waypoints as many times as you want. You get more money for the more times you fly, but uh, I just do it once generally. I have to paint the nose red. I forgot about the nose of that thing there. This says no. Okay, transporter, you reached the waypoint one. Go to the waypoint two. 
all right waypoint two let's see where it is okay it's up further up uh the, the valley boat of garten it's near uh sky of Kerr. by croft james We have an election coming up in New York City. Andrew Yang, when he was presidential candidate, he did uh, say he was gonna he was going for a basic income. That's what he ran on. He wants to do that for New York City still, but I don't think it's gonna be for it's not gonna be universal because they he's already admitted that uh, the city probably won't be able to afford to pay everyone in it a basic income. And you know, I think all right if you can get uh, people who are struggling a basic income that's that's already big progress some clothes some shelter some food pay rent without having to take a job you hate or the peace of mind to find a job that you actually enjoy that'd be so good for the world oh many how oh, many trees are right here? That's nice shafts of light up here. You feel shafts of light? There, look at that. Approaching Sky of Kerr, Doldane Bridge, Dothill, Achanahet, Carr Bridge. I probably have trouble understanding the English people speak around here. It's very heavy accents in Scotland. But you get used to it eventually. The Scottish friend in university, and it took me like a few times hanging out with him to be able to understand what he was saying, Steve. A gentleman who's uh, has held many different jobs, and I think he would appreciate a basic income just like I would love a basic income as well. Billionaires can keep their billions, just maybe a few less, and uh, we can make this happen. Beautiful valley. There you go, the waypoint's gonna be right here. Okay, you reached the waypoint two. You can fly to waypoint one again to earn more, or come back to the airport. Don't forget to release the banner with Control W before landing. Copy that dispatch. This is a Hypertext Hero turning back to the airfield. Just really enjoying this moment here of flight in this light. No need for fright. We'll get through this. Oh yeah. Oh, I like this angle. I just it was totally accidental. The track IR just got a little close, but uh this is really cool looking. There's a little bit of a what that is. It looks like oh it's the compass in there. There's a little bit of a clipping. That's a little bug there. Eventually, see things from this angle. Very nice. Hope we have to switch the cameras to the other side if we want to be able to read the basic income banner. That happens in real world airplanes too. Here go, let me trim her up. We'll make sure that we're not going to crash into these trees. And then uh, go to the outside view and uh, move around here a little bit.
gonna go straight south. There we go. South we go to, ladies and gentlemen. Got the Mad Tuscan out there. Oh, bottle of uh, Brunello de Montalcino with some uh, antipasti from Tuscany, some some mushroom, roasted mushrooms or fried mushrooms, followed by a plate of uh, fettuccine with uh, grated fresh uh, Uh, what were those things called? Tartuffi, tartuffi freschi, and then uh, all the bistecca with some chicory on the side, and then maybe a tiramisu. That would go down pretty well for lunch. I mean, I don't need to eat that much, but uh, it would be nice. There's a way for I don't think there's a way for you to put your own custom uh, preview on Twitch, right? They, they just pick a, a random thumbnail. I don't know if they updated uh, if there's there's probably a time uh, interval that they that Twitch updates the thumbnail. Because it would be interesting to be able to choose that, but maybe then it wouldn't be fair because you could choose something. Yeah, like, you know, as Tim said the other day, it's something like you need to spend like. 80 or 90 percent of your time doing your web development work is to make things uh, safe from people who want to ruin other people's days by putting you know rude things in images and stuff like that <laughs> i think that's true i've worked as a web developer and uh wow time you have to spend to to keep uh, bad actors from uh from ruining things is a lot Oh, we're right by our... F no, no, our field is further up. It's not crash here, watch out. Remember, I'm in the Cessna, not in the BN2 anymore. I'm pretty low, because we're pretty high up here. I think it's like a kilometer above sea level or something. Very pretty place to fly. There's that arc where Highlander may be from. There's a 90s TV show for you. I think it was 90s, right? Was it late 80s, early 90s? Was the movie or was it a TV show first that I don't remember? I remember watching the movie. It was a little scary. Like this guy that, you know, cuts, he has to cut other people's heads off they're all immortal and the only way to to kill them is to cut their heads off it's a little bit of a brutal idea <laughs> look at this cockpit modeling it's so awesome Oh, this sounds like Queen. It is Queen. This is Lose by JMKM and my favorite producer, 32. Maybe it just sounded like it, but this like sounds queen, like Queen, a Queen song here. 
hopefully Twitch will figure out a way for us to be able to play whatever music we want and the creators will still get paid and we won't get these damn DMCA takedown notices. Got an email from them today saying, yeah, the unpublished videos you have copyrighted music from because we, I think it was a general mass mail. It wasn't for me directly, but here, and they say they're talking to, they're discussing with the people that send them this, these notices that are automated notices given by the amount they receive. And they're trying to figure out a solution, but who knows? I hope they do. I'm just following the river here. Let's, uh, we can turn off the, the river. river breaks into two here. And we'll turn off to that left. And that should take us right to uh, Beshi Bridge Airfield for landing. Bunch of time approaching here in New York City. After this landing, take a break for lunch. We'll be back at 2 p.m. for one more stream. Maybe I'll go to Atu Strumovic. I don't think I'm gonna go to Elite today. Uh, maybe I will though, we'll see. Maybe I'll go to uh, VCS to gauge whether I really want to fly some jets. All right, let's get in touch with air traffic control, even though they won't uh, talk to us because there's uncontrolled airfield. Oh. Echo Golf Zulu Lima traffic, hypertext Hero 1, one miles northwest, 900 feet inbound to land runway 21. First, I'm gonna drop this thing off on top of the airfield. Here it goes. Control W. And it disappears. That's like the simulation of dropping off the banner. And uh, we're going to put our flaps down. It's only Timmy that put a, a landing prediction here. And we only, have, when we only have one person that I participate to to make it fair. So it's not an automatic win. Uh, he guessed the negative 100. Here. I'll guess uh, negative uh, 150. Still a little weird because I'm the one flying the airplane, but you know, I'm not a pro. I can't really control exactly how I'm going to guess. It feels like unbalanced. It's fair enough. Like one person entering. But maybe it could be argued too that hey, if there's the one person who entered, maybe and no one else entered, maybe there should be automatic winner. Not sure. What do you think? No need to respond. Just uh, chill out, relax. Think about what video game you're gonna play if you like to play video games uh, this uh, this uh, Friday, this weekend. some screenshots here but I was I had the wrong thing selected here you go what a bit of a win here right rudder to the left aileron to the right to compensate back a little bit to uh, get a feel for the speed transporter from dispatch nice oh. landing I try to make it as smooth as so Timmy would win, but no, I don't put myself on the, on the board. I just uh, say, hey, there's only one person. Uh, maybe I should stop doing it. Maybe I should say if there's only one person, they win. You know, they're, they're around. I'm going to change that for the next time. But thanks for your guests. Lurkers, you are having a nice nap if you're having a nap and a... Uh, a nice Friday. I'm gonna stop by this hangar here. 
and uh, I'm just gonna it won't be a raid right now I'd like to have a little few more people for the raids but uh, I'll be back in uh, just over an hour and a half thanks for being here this hypertext hero uh, wishing you a uh, Good evening or good afternoon, wherever you may be. Good job. I hope this will bring more customer back to Neofly. We, we could do a little raid. What the? Who's out there? Who's out there playing? Or the Microsoft Buy team. Herbal Arrow, that sounds interesting. Chewy. 290 okay let's let's try it there we go two we 94 have a good rest of your day out <laughs>